25, thanks for being with us. A woman in Phoenix thought she was fighting a case of the flu. Instead, it was an infection that is life-threatening. William Pitt says after several surgeries, doctors are hopeful that now she'll recover. Kristen Lipinski thought she had a simple case of the flu, and she did. But that simple case of the flu turned out to be something much, much worse. A teacher, runner, mom of three, Kristen Lipinski is unstoppable. It was just a little soreness in her left side. We knew that the flu was so prevalent this year that we figured maybe it was just a, a bad case of the flu. It had something, maybe she's dehydrated or who knows what. After many rounds of tests, Kristen and her husband Nathan got the diagnosis. Flu, yes, but also necrotizing fasciitis or flesh-eating bacteria. What's going to happen to her? How do I tell the, our kids about about this trying to stay positive but at the same time it's hard not to be thinking the worst it's just felt like a in a horrible dream that you can't wake up from. It's rare, maybe one in a million, and kills about 30% of people who get it. And for the most part, doctors don't even know why people get it. Patients are given antibiotics, of course, but doctors say that won't stop the infection. You have to cut it out, all of it, before it can spread. Amputations and uh, mastectomies and, and things like that. Uh, you can't just go in and make a little incision. And if you don't get it right the first time, oftentimes you don't have a second chance. The body can only take so many of those surgeries. Nathan says Kristen has lost at least 30% of the skin on her left side, maybe more. The doctors say the prognosis is good. They think they got it all. I really like to think that we're turning the corner on this. That was William Pitt's report.